New at 10 tonight, police say a person who was stabbed in a busy shopping center parking lot in San Francisco's Castro District yesterday has now died. Neighbors say the latest violence is just adding to their ongoing safety concerns. KTVU's Amber Lee live now in the city after talking with them about what they're dealing with. Amber. Julie, neighbors tell me this homicide is only the latest in a number of crimes that have taken place in the, this area. They say they include assaults, home and car break-ins. Neighbors say it's quieter than usual on this Wednesday night at the Safeway parking lot on Market Street in San Francisco's Castro District. They blame it on a deadly stabbing that took place the night before around 830 in another section of the same parking lot by the Jabba Juice and empty storefronts. A source says the victim was a 40-year-old man. Police have released few details. I wasn't shocked. I wasn't shocked at all, actually. Um, I was disappointed and I wanted to know what was going on. Frank Tizadiz lives nearby. He's the president of the DuBose Triangle Neighborhood Association. I'd been attacked three times, three times, and none of the people have ever been charged. He tells me in the most recent attack about six weeks ago, a mentally ill stranger bit him and broke his finger. This is a taser. This is a civilian taser. Dennis Richards shows me the taser he now carries. He says he's had a few run-ins with mentally ill people in the neighborhood. In February, there was a shooting in the same parking lot that wounded two people. These longtime residents say they're fed up. We're thinking of leaving the city. That's how concerned we are. I mean, we feel like a lot of times when we leave our house, even in the day, we take we put our safety at risk. It's just not acceptable. I mean, this is our neighborhood. <laughs> Police have not arrested anyone for the deadly stabbing and did not say what the motive for the killing was. But the talk in the neighborhood is that it may be drug related. Residents say crime escalated when COVID hit in 2020. They want people who are responsible to be held accountable. Julie? Yeah, we should feel safe in places we live. Amber, thank you.